This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We are selling this smart car. It is a 2013 Smart for Two Passion. Uh, it's a one liter, three cylinder, rear wheel drive, 64,000 miles. It was a theft recovery uh, that uh, was sold to us by uh, Connect by American Family Insurance. So it's like an, uh, a subsidiary of American Family. We bought it from them and uh, they sold it on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Basically, the insurance companies don't want any liability uh, by, uh, from the people who buy it from us. So obviously, Crosscut doesn't have the money that American Family Insurance has. So if you were to die in this car, get injured in this car, whatever in this car, um, obviously you would rather dig into American Family's uh, wallet more than Crosscut's. <laughs> obviously um, the way they divorce themselves from the car is by giving it a, a salvage title um, if they sold it on a clear title and they so, and then they sold it to us we sold it to you maybe a good liar could still hook them to the vehicle and that's why they do it it has nothing to do with being damaged or anything in fact this thing is in great shape obviously um, we brought it here checked it out uh, Carfax is magnificent um, looks like somebody just put a brand new set of tires on it right before it was stolen um, I'm gonna walk around. I'll point out things I see cosmetically, which is hardly anything. Uh, but uh, if I do see something, I will tell you. Okay. Uh, the job, my job in these videos is a nice set of Continental tires. They're uh, 155 60 R15s. Wow. There's your little passion label, right? These are obviously a, a, a Ben's product. Now, first of all, I would like to take off the hood. The motor's in the rear. What's up here, see these tabs right here? You pull that tab in and you pull that tab in and, and then you turn this deal. And, you, and this is like a plastic piece, obviously for weight. And it's got a little uh, like a secure, uh, like a strap on it. You pick it up and all that's underneath here is over here there's a radiator fill. And I think over here there's a um, brake fluid fill. That's all that's up here. So it's pretty boring. Uh, if you want to know what's underneath there, because I can't do it two-handed. Uh, I have to have two hands. I got one hand on the camera. Um, but if you want to know what it looks like under there, uh, just Google it. All right? Anyway, these tires are in great shape. Wheels are in great shape. The car's in great shape. It's a great-looking little car. Okay, I'm to the back end already. <laughs> My daughter already saw it. She's like, oh, I want it. It's so cute. Oh, my Golly, she's already got a nice car. I think we all know how that works. Then she's driving two cars instead of one, and I'll never see this car again. And that'll be very sad. All right. Best part about these cars is um, parking, obviously. Anyway, so the way you get in the back, it took me a while to figure this out, and I didn't Google it. So you hold this down. That pops up the glass, okay? And then you got these tabs on the side here, one on each side. All you have to do is grab one, pull it towards you, and there it goes, okay? So that's that. All right, let me give you some information on this on this vehicle real quick here. First of all, here's the Kelly Blue Book for a uh, Passion, uh, 64,000 miles. Um, fair market range is 7,094 with a list, typical listing price of 87.64, okay? Here's the uh, Carfax, there's the VIN, 64,000 miles. Carfax blends the uh, the Kelly Blue Book and the Carfax together, and they come up with a retail value of 7,680. Okay. All right, here is the Carfax itself. There's your bin. Like I said, it's on a salvage title. That's due to theft, okay? Uh, let's see, it looks like it was born in Sacramento. Mercedes-Benz dealer there. It's kind of windy right now. It's hard to do this. Uh, this will be in the ad, by the way. You can look at it yourself. Looks like right here it's somewhere, what, three months past 61,000 miles it was stolen. Okay. Um, the insurance company obviously recovered it, sent it to the uh, Benz dealership, which is great. And they had an ignition put in it because obviously they broke the ignition when they stole it. All right. And they serviced it and probably put a new battery in it because it starts no problem. And uh, usually when the car's been stolen, it's been sitting forever. So I would say they probably put a new battery. The battery, by the way, 
goes under the carpet on the passenger front. I did look that up because I was curious. Um, engine. Here's the engine part. Let's see if I can do this one-handed or not. I'm not sure if I can or not. So, ah, you go like that. You go like this. Turn that, right? Take that pin out. There's your motor right there. Now, see, I've got one hand here, so I'm going to put the pin in my pocket. I'll finish this up, and I'll put it back in when we're done. But I did want to see you see the motor and stuff. Looks pretty good. Uh, la, 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 la. This wind is unreal today. Okay, let's see. Seats, carpet. I'm surprised how roomy it is. The shipper who brought it here is 6'3", and he got in this thing no problem. Well, there's where the key goes, right here. All right. Let me get a seatbelt on. Okay. There's your radio. demand for your home. Go to FM here. I think I have FM2 pre-tuned. Entry doors plus no interest or payments for 12 months. There's that. Lock in okay. Let's see. We got air conditioning. Turn that up. The air conditioning works really well in this car. Really well. That was, uh, that mattered to me. Let me, uh, put it here there we go and yeah it's got a hell of a fan in it I was worried about uh, AC what would it be like in here the ceiling the ceiling the, the interior top so you can put this thing back and then you got a nice little like starlight kind of crystal look to the glass it's kind of cool uh, light mirrors let's see what do we got oh here we go there you go. There's the... I think that that's about it. It's getting a little chilly in here already. So I'm going to turn this down just a little... I'll turn it off because we don't even need it. All right. 64,017 is the mileage. Let's see. Let me move this thing forward here a little bit. We'll go drive. Then I'll put it in reverse. Now we're in reverse, right? I'll make sure I don't hit anything behind me. I don't hurt this little guy. All right, put it back in drive. Let me test the mirrors. Out, in, up, and down. Other side. Out, in, up, and down. Let's see, window. That's driver window. Passenger window. Okay, I think we're done. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson, let me see if we can beat the gate. Yeah, go ahead. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, obviously you need place and insurance. You can get neither on a salvage title. We have to take it to the cops to get what's called a level three inspection done. When we have a level three inspection done, um, we can take the salvage title we have and the uh, level three inspection into motor vehicles here and get what's called a restored salvage title. At that point, we can issue you place to drive home with and you can get insurance. So obviously that's mandatory. Um, that's $200 for us to do that for you before you come here to drive it home. Um, if you're going to uh, pay by wire and ship out of state, all you pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee. Uh, if you want us to restore the title before it ships out, let us know. We'll be glad to do that. Um, we'll add $200 to the deal and we'll do that. Um, if you are going to pay by wire and ship out of state once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, uh, sign it off to you. Uh, we will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, if you need any help with shipping, let me know. Uh, you're welcome to do it yourself, but if you need help, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle. Um, uh, I can do it all for you. Or if you just need phone numbers to do and you want to do it yourself, we can, we can give you some phone numbers to call, whatever you'd like, okay? Um, let's see. Turn signal. This is school zone right here. Um, la, 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 la. What else? Beat this guy. Turn left here. Um, la, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. Please just let me know if you need if you need help um, shipping. Okay. Uh, so you get your car quickly. These things are a little, <laughs> little man. I love it though. Uh, what do they do on the highway? I bet they're not a great highway car, but I bet for like a golf community they're fine 
you know, just putting around and stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. So please get your deposit in, all right? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing. And I have for 10 years on every single car. We don't have... I'm getting a little warm, so I'm going to turn a little, heat, a little AC on there. Um, if... Uh, if you were to buy this vehicle at the auto mall, all right, you'd be paying for their fancy location, the woman serving, or the guy, serving lattes and scones and sandwiches that they all have. Uh, you know, their fancy stuff, uh, whatchamacallit, their fancy fountains and all their all the crap they have, all right? Um, we don't have any of that stuff, so you're not paying for that in the price of a vehicle. Uh, the fact that it's a salvage title um, because of theft helps a lot also. Um, they also know at the auto mall that uh, if they were to sell you this vehicle, they'd have to sell you for a, sell it to you for a lot of money. So if you brought it in to get it fixed, they would have to fix it because obviously they made a ton of money. Uh, so they add between five to seven hundred dollars on every car deal just for future repairs in case you show up and want your smart car fixed. Okay, we don't add five to seven hundred dollars. We want you to have the money up front so that you're good fixing your car on day one. Okay. So that's the deal, all right? If you need somebody to write you a check, whether it's one minute after you're the new owner or you know three weeks or five years, we are not the company to buy cars from, all right? Now, uh, the exchanges, you pay a lot less to us. So enjoy the money you saved up front and uh, that's that, okay? All right, I'm back. I don't wanna avoid that gigantic pothole. And we are home. Open the gate. So, what was my experience like in a smart car? Well, it's not a race car, that's for sure. Um, you kind of gotta like, you know, drive it and not be expecting to get somewhere fast. That's for sure. But, you know, if you're if this, this swing was like in one of those retirement communities where they have all the golf carts and stuff like that, it'd be perfect. Um, you know, would I take it down the interstate? Uh, no, I would not. Um, not because it wouldn't do it, but. You know, first of all, it would take forever to get to 60. Now, I don't know what zero to 60 in this car is, but probably a minute or two. <laughs> um, so, I would say that, uh, you know, if you got just, if you want to go to the store near your house, if you're in a country club and you want to, you know, something like that, uh, maybe something to drive, be, pull behind your, uh, your RV. By the way, there's a little bit of tear right here, you know, but uh, it's definitely not something you're going to, hustle down to the store in 15 seconds and it's more like a minute. <laughs> Just add time to everything you're doing and you'll be happy in your little smart car. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave this here in Tucson, in my garage here in Tucson because my daughter would fall in love with this thing. Anyway, thank you for your time.